Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of the Real Estate Minute. I'm Tom Bluffko. One of the top concerns I'm getting right now from my agents is that their first time home buyers are asking them the following question. Should I still buy a home with today's higher mortgage rates? Well, each person's finances and budget are gonna be a little different and there's no such thing as a one-sized answer to fit everyone's circumstance. The short answer is probably yes. Now, a couple of things you need to do with first time home buyers right now is understand that they are looking for someone like you to provide them with much needed guidance and clarity about this market. They are seeing sensationalized headlines about only one aspect of owning real estate right now, and that is interest rates. Yeah, I get it, interest rates have gone up and it's more expensive to buy a home today than it was just a couple of weeks ago, but trying to time the market or predict what might happen next year is not the best home buying strategy. Let's take a look at this rent versus buy analysis. If a first time home buyer says, I'm just gonna sit tight right now and keep renting, what does that look like? I went to rent.com and pulled up the average rent for a two bedroom apartment in Leicester County. Right now, it's $1,664. I then did the calculation for the next two years rent based upon bumps in rental costs of 1% in 23 and 2% in 24. Pretty conservative. As you see, that sit tight renter is gonna dump over $40,000 in rental payments over the next two years. This is the money that they're never gonna have back again. Now let's look at the first time home buyer that decides to buy today. You see, if they buy an average price home in Lancaster County and obtained a conventional mortgage at 90% of the purchase price, they would have reduced their mortgage by over $6,000 over two years. And using the same appreciation rates, as with the rent scenario, they would have over $9,000 in appreciation for that same period. When you compare the two scenarios, there is a $55,000 difference. So when your first time home buyer gets a little queasy about proceeding with buying a home in this economic environment, show them this graphic. If that doesn't make them queasy, nothing will. And by the way, the link to the graphic can be found in the comments section under this YouTube video. Hope this helps with you and your first time homebuyer clients. Until next time, all the best.